He's good looking. He's sexy. He is sexy. The idea came from visual inspirations like Portuguese uh, serving champions. So we suit him with a military grade diving gear as well as a diving survival knife. And of course, we topped that off with a good bulge. signature. He has a good bulge. We also gave him wide shoulders from swimming, and we gave him a big wide smile to draw people in. But at the same time, he's very empathetic and he has kind eyes. So for Tuberau, we created this modern cryogenic canister, which contains liquid nitrogen and liquid oxygen that are separated for security reasons. And when the canister is ready to get thrown, the two liquids are blended, creating this mixture that has strong cooling capacities. The canister has a glass that will break on impact, releasing this compound that will spread around and that will affect all the surfaces and all the objects that it gets in contact with. The diving deeper into Tobaro's ability, Tobaro brings the uh, Zotoganister. These things are throwable that will detonate on impact. And when they detonate, they will release a super cool compound. What that the will fuck? Pretty much everything in its path. As an attacker, when you step into this effect, you're gonna notice it. You're gonna oh, be slowed down. Oh, You'll hell. also be leaving frozen footsteps. Oh, fuck no. So he literally throws something that acts as a Malusi and a Jackal track at the same time simultaneously. And he can deny breaches? So these footsteps are visible on the surface you're walking on, but be careful because they're also visible on the surface below. Oh, the effect is not oh, everlasting. Hell no. It's only a few seconds. If you have any of your gadgets that are hell no! the, of the Zoto canister. Who's fuse? Who, yo, fuse? Hop that you want, Roblox, my G. What the fuck is this strat? What is this strategy? Somebody tell Fuse to lay down the alcohol. What is this strategy? They will be disabled. Work or they will be paused. Wait, we realized that well with he really cool temperature, charge. your electronics go go down. If you have enough ice, you can also affect mechanical gadgets. He froze the floor joints and stuff like he that. He froze them. So that was kind of like the Eureka moment. He where froze the rim. Be affecting mechanical gadgets. No. So when you're facing a terminal, no Fuse, you have this moment of reaction no, where you can deploy not a your, your Zoto canister on the wall. You're going to be stopping the termite and its track. And now you're giving your team breathing room and some time to kind of no! think what's going to happen. What are we going to do with this? Because it's not going to destroy the termite charge. It's just going to freeze it and stop it for a second. The wall is still oh. going to blow up at the end of the effect. It only freezes it temporarily. Now, best combination. These are the best combinations of civilization. Peanut butter and jelly. What else? A toilet and toilet paper. And number three, this operator and Cade. If you freeze a thermite and then throw a Cade on it, The barrel's role this is, is calm. a flex operator. This operator can both play as a roamer and as an anchor. As an anchor, Tobaro's role is really to kind of slow down a push so that the defender can really react to whatever the attacker are that's throwing crazy. at them. That's crazy. But as that's a roamer, crazy. you can do similar things, but do it at a further distance and be kind of safe from fuse or something like that and be able to, to switch between your roaming role where you disrupt the attack a bit further. He throws a claymore! Quickly running back to site and, and slow down whatever is happening you know, on the objective. He froze a nomad. It literally freezes everything. Yo, it actually freezes at, he just froze a nomad, watch that. He just, yo, you could roam with this guy. Between your roaming role where you disrupt the attack a bit further from the objective and you be could. quickly running back to site and, and slow down whatever is happening uh, on the objective. With the introduction of RAM, uh, vertical play has been playing quite a big role. So with this gadget, you can use it to deploy on the ceiling and disrupt that's these attackers that, that are that, above you. Uh, you can also use it to uh, slow down the attackers, freeze them, disrupt them, or uh, also freeze other breaching shards that's that they may nutty. be placing on the ceiling. Frozen device. Of synergy, I would say, is the gadget denial. Uh, so you have uh, Bandit, Kaid, and Mute. Tobaro will be joining their rank and denying the wall for the attackers. You can pair this operator with, let's say, Bandit, and give Bandit more time That's to comp. replace his battery That's good. and uh, Bandit trick while the attackers are trying to breach. The second group, I would say, is the more the Intel group. Uh, you have Pulse and Solace. 
They provide a lot of information and a lot That's of intel good, for chat. Chibaro so he can deploy his gadget and hopefully catch the attackers that are playing upstairs or in the room next to you. The final group is, I would call, the trap operator. So you can think of Ella, Fenrir, or the other trap operators. Wait, can... These gadgets can be paired with the Zoto canister to really create some really disruptive and effective uh, traps Bro. for the attackers. Looking at the counters, the first one is Maverick. Because yes, despite having a fire gadget, does Maverick counter he's it? the only hard breacher who will still be able to go through a reinforcement wall that is affected by this uh, gadget. You can also bring an operator like Zofia because Zofia's Wait, explosive charge will not be affected by the Zoto canister. So you can use it to destroy the canister and get rid of the effect. Ooh. You can also bring frag grenades, which will also not be affected by the Zoto canister. Finally, we also have operators like Twitch and Zero. Their gadget, equipped with their laser, will be able to zap the canister and get rid of the effect. If you just want to wait and be patient, you can just wait for the effect to run out. But if you're not patient and you want to get Dude, rid of it crazy. as quickly as possible, you can shoot it, you can this melee it. This is like it, the future of the game, bro. It. it will immediately remove the, uh, the effect and the ice will melt. Uh, taking a look at the primary weapons of Tuparo, we have two options. First one is the MPX, which is a classic weapon. Terrible. One you can see on a terrible uh, weapon. A classically um, it's a wonderful terrible weapon. weapon for a flex operator. It's not. The second it's option not. is the AR-15. Yes, Ugh. a DMR. Bad defense. guns. Bad the DMR guns. DMR creates a lot of destructions, and also the weapon is pretty loud, pretty powerful, so they'll they'll, they'll be scared. Bad but guns. In terms of secondary weapon, you have one option: the P226 MK25. It's a reliable secondary weapon. So we wanted Tobaro to be able to really fulfill his role as a flex operator. So we gave him a balance of two two. Uh, two health, two speed. I like that. I, 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 I like that. You have two options. The two, first two. option is the Nitro Cell, which is really useful when you play this operator in a vertical way. Uh, you can try to catch the attacker upstairs if you're able to catch them with your gadget, but be careful. No Don't throw your uh, Nitro Cell and your That's own smart. gadgets because That's they smart. will be disabled. So try to try to play smart and try to anticipate Bro, where the players are going to go. Bro, if they walk into the snow them. and then the you see them? The second option is the proximity alarm. No, this you gotta go C4. This one is great to bring if Dude, you're... Dude, you gotta go C4 with this guy. Brother, if you if they're above you, you throw that snow, you see their footsteps, because it's like blue footsteps, and you just see for it. Yo, I'm going to be honest. This is the perfect type of operator. It doesn't look overpowered. It, like Ram, Ram is overpowered. This guy, do, he doesn't look overpowered, and he doesn't look shit. The problem with this guy is like, for selfish teams, he's going to be ass. Because like you need people to actually work with this guy. But a team that's coordinated, this guy will be fucking cra like crazy. In tournaments, this guy is going to be nuts. More aiming towards using it as an horizontal gameplay. It allows you to put it in the doorway and have an early warning. Yeah. So you can deploy your Zoto Ganister in the though. doorway and better. make the attacker think twice before uh, swinging on you. This operator is super unique, and the fact that yeah, it brings it not only a disabling effect for electronic, but for the first time, it brings a disabling effect for mechanical gadget. So it affects pretty much everything. At every moment of the round, you have something that you can contribute with your gadget. Bro, that's and there's something nuts! you can do that will hopefully make your team win. You can Crazy. play the season test server for Operation Deep Freeze starting tomorrow. Explore new strategies with his gadget and chill your opponents to the core. And remember, whether you're on the test server or just playing as usual, reporting issues you encounter to R6Fix will give you the chance that, to get that that rewards. It?